Hey, what's up? Ben here from blogwithben.com. And in this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up and use this LG ultra wide monitor. And if you've been on the fence about purchasing one of these like I was, then this video is for you. Because not only will I show you how to set it up and use it, but I'll also show you how to connect a laptop to it. And then we'll be going over some of the specs and I'll give you an honest review of the product as well. But I gotta say, as a blogger, I'm pretty excited about having this much screen real estate. So with that being said, let's check it out. Welcome to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. If you're new here, I am so glad you found me. Here you're gonna find full link step-by-step -step tutorials and reviews, all aimed to help people build, grow, and monetize their WordPress blogs. And if you find this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Doing so helps me keep this channel going and growing, and it also allows you to stay up to date with all the new videos that come out in the future. But either way, thank you so much for all your support. All right, so like I said, we're gonna be checking out this LG ultra wide monitor. I'm gonna show you how to set it up and use it, and then we're gonna go over some of the specs. And like I said, I've never had a monitor this size, so I'm pretty excited to see what it can do. So with that being said, let's get into it. All right, so as I mentioned in this tutorial, we're gonna set up the LG ultra wide monitor curved. Now out of the box, there isn't too much to it, but that's great because it makes assembling this super simple. Now, I should point out that this particular model will run you about $1,300, and there are a few different versions of it out there, but in this tutorial, we'll be setting up the 38-inch curved ultra-wide monitor with USB Type-C model number 38WP85C-W to be exact. Then, along with the monitor, you'll get a stand and base, a power cord and adapter, along with the USB-C display port, and HDMI cables. You'll also get a disc version of the owner's manual. However, if you're using a laptop like I am, then I recommend going to lg.com and downloading the manual there. I've put a link to it below in the video description, but after you visit the link, in order to access the right owner's manual, you'll wanna select monitors, then 21 by nine ultra wide monitors, and our model is the 38 inch curved 38WP85C-W. Then from here, select either the English or Spanish version, and that will allow you to download the owner's manual in PDF format. This is a great reference to have and a lot better than the paper manual that comes in the box, in my opinion. All right, so setting up the monitor is pretty simple. LG actually recommends that you lay a towel down on a flat surface and then place the slender piece of styrofoam from the packaging like so. Then lay the monitor face down on top of the styrofoam. This exposes the back and allows you to easily connect the stand and base. Next, place the top of the stand on the back of the monitor at an angle and press down. You'll hear a click letting you know that it's secure. Then at the bottom of the stand, simply apply the base and screw it in with a few quick turns. And there we go. Now, if for any reason you need to remove the stand and base, there's a release switch on the back of the monitor. Just pull it down and lift up the stand. This can come in handy if you decide to use some sort of desk or wall mount instead of the stand that comes with the monitor. Now I'm using the stand and to be honest, once you stand it upright, I think it looks great. I love the minimalist look and feel to it. All right, now adjusting the height and angle of the monitor is pretty simple. The angle of the screen can be adjusted forward or backward like so, and the height can be adjusted up or down a total of 4.3 inches by moving the monitor up or down. This gives you the ability to configure a comfortable viewing experience. Moving on to connecting cables and devices to the monitor. And if we take a peek at the back real quick, you'll be able to see what ports are offered. First, you have two HDMI 2.0 ports, two USB 3.0 ports, a display 1.4 port, an upstream USB-C port, headphone out for your headphones, and the DC in for the power cord. So first things first, let's plug in the monitor. So take the power adapter, which looks like this, and attach the power cable to it. 
Then find the DC in port located at the bottom right section of the ports and plug in the power cable. Now, when it comes to connecting a laptop to the monitor, you have a couple options. You can use a Thunderbolt 3 cable and plug it into the USB-C port and then connect that cable to your laptop. This is a quick and easy way to connect and it also sends 90 watts of power back to your laptop, allowing you to charge your device while it's plugged into the monitor. It's pretty cool. However, for this tutorial, I'm gonna be using my CalDigit TS3 Plus Thunderbolt station to connect my MacBook Pro to this monitor. And in order to do that, I'll be using the display port. So find the display port cable. It'll look like this. And plug it into the display 1.4 port like so. Then, as I mentioned, I'll be using the CalDigit TS3 Plus Thunderbolt station shown here to connect my laptop to the monitor. The TS3 Plus is the ideal solution for Thunderbolt 3 Mac and PC users who need to connect multiple devices to their laptops, such as monitors, SD card readers, USB hard drives, digital audio devices, and much more. It also acts as a charging station, which is really nice. Then, as I mentioned, for this tutorial, I'm using the display port to connect the monitor to the laptop. So I've plugged in the display port cable here within the TS3. Then I'm using a Thunderbolt 3 cable that came with the TS3 to connect to the laptop. And I've plugged that cable into the port marked computer. Then the last thing we need to do in order for everything to be connected is to plug the Thunderbolt 3 cable into the laptop like so. And then I'll give it a few seconds to connect. And the plug and play feature makes a transition from the laptop to the monitor seamless. As you can see, I don't have to mess with adjusting the dimensions or resolution of my laptop screen. Everything is displaying as it should after we connected everything together. Next, let's go over how to power the monitor on and off, as well as configure some of the settings. So underneath the monitor, you'll find the power button, which is actually like a little joystick. This allows you to turn the monitor on and off, as well as access the settings. Pressing it once will power up the monitor, and once you do that, give it a few seconds. And then pressing it again allows you to access the menu, giving you the ability to access the settings, picture mode, input, and the power off option. Then in order to access the settings, simply move the joystick to the right. And then in the upper right hand side of the screen, you'll see the various settings that you can configure. First, we have the quick settings. This is where you can adjust things like the brightness, contrast, and the color temp. Then if you move the joystick down, you can access the rest of the settings like the input, which we'll come back to in a few moments because I'll show you how to connect an additional PC laptop to this monitor. Then we have the picture settings. And finally, there are some general settings. Then as I mentioned, you can connect multiple devices to this monitor and view them separately in the picture by picture mode. And for this tutorial, I'm connecting a PC ThinkPad along with my MacBook Pro to this monitor. Again, this allows me to connect a Mac and PC to the same monitor and work on two completely different operating systems side by side on one screen. And the way I'm achieving this is by plugging the PC ThinkPad into the monitor using the Thunderbolt cable that came with the LG Ultrawide monitor. So I'll plug that cable into the USB-C port located here And then after doing that, don't forget to plug this cable into your laptop. Next, you'll wanna access the input settings. Then select PBP, which stands for picture by picture. Then from here, select that icon with the two screens. And once you exit the settings, you'll see that the screen on the left will display the Mac that's connected via the display port and then the PC that's connected via the Thunderbolt 3 cable will display on the right. You can now work on a Mac and PC at the same time on one monitor. You can also have one input via laptop and the other be a gaming system. Regardless of what you use the picture by picture for, it's a really cool feature that can help you be more efficient with your work or gaming. Now, when it comes to the picture quality, 
I'm not a gamer at all, so I can't really comment on the features that would be beneficial to you if you're looking to use this as a gaming monitor. However, what I can tell you is that the monitor sits at 38 inches and has a quad HD resolution of 3840 by 1600 pixels. So this means that it isn't quite a 4K monitor, but for what I use it for, it doesn't really matter. I personally think the resolution is great and the extra screen real estate has allowed me to be more efficient in my workflow, blogging, and video editing. I should also point out that the ultra wide monitor is also a curved screen. And along with the 21 by nine aspect ratio, this makes the viewing experience almost immersive. And when I was using two monitors with my old setup, I would have to angle them so that I wasn't having to turn my head as much. But with this ultra wide monitor, the curved screen and aspect ratio take care of that and gives you an easy way to be more efficient with just one screen. And I have to say that after using this larger screen, I'm a fan. I love the ease of working with multiple windows open and being able to quickly adjust the size, location, and amount of each window I'm using. And as a blogger and YouTuber, this extra screen real estate has done wonders for my workflow and I'm probably gonna get another one for my studio. So with that being said, I'm curious to hear what you think. Feel free to leave a comment below letting me know your thoughts on this type of monitor. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. And as always, I've linked to all the products in the video description below. Feel free to check them out if you want. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Also, if you're looking to start a blog, check out these two videos on how to build, grow, and monetize a WordPress blog. They'll walk you through the entire process step-by-step. Step. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.